Good morning. Happy Sunday morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry for the little bit of a late start. I am completely unorganized today. <laughs> I am trying desperately to get myself together and it is just not working. So this will be a fun stream, I think. <laughs> hopefully I have fixed our internet connection issues and hopefully Streamlabs is going to work with me today. Audio is different today. Uh, because, you know, as is normal for me, I forgot to charge my headset. So we get to use the audio from the webcam. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But you're going to be hearing some background noises, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, it, it kind of is what it is, unfortunately. Um, I have been trying to say hi to everybody in chat as I've seen them. If I've missed you, I'm so sorry. Please make sure you say hi again so that I can, uh, I can say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know some people were chatting uh, this morning. Brenda, that sounds like so much fun setting up a little sewing room for your for your granddaughter. Seven is such a fun age. I remember when my daughters were that little. It was so much fun. So much fun. So enjoy it while you can. Uh, I'm going to peek over and chat real quick. There's just a bunch of stuff going on real quick. Good morning, Vicki. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Sunday to you. We are going to be starting on a new project today called Mix and Match. It's a free pattern by Donna Jordan. I'm super excited to work with this pattern. It doesn't look super complicated, and I like those. I like the easy ones, but I'm loving this fabric. It is so pretty. It is the Whimsical Daisy Fabric line. It was a pre-cut line that Donna Jordan of Jordan Fabrics was offering um, gosh, a few months back. So I bought a layer cake for it. So we're going to use a layer cake for this. The pattern actually calls for charm squares, but that's okay because we can turn that into charm squares, no problem. I was going to start um, ironing up my layer cake pieces, but you know everything just kind of went to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> I had to get everything organized again. So um, I apologize for not being prepared. Um, let's just, I'm just checking chat real quick, make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. I'm going to try not to touch the buttons. So then hopefully that way I don't accidentally <laughs> block anybody. <laughs> so good morning, good morning. I said good morning to Sandra, Brenda, yes, Chloe, good morning. Linda, I think I saw you pop in there too. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. All right, so we're going to get started. Again, I, I apologize for all the weird audio and background noises. And if my neighbor decides to come out, you're probably going to hear them too. It, it is what it is, unfortunately. So I've got a layer cake here. We're going to iron these up, cut them up into four five-inch squares. And then we're going to start putting pieces together. So uh, how is everyone's Independence Day weekend going? I know tomorrow is the official holiday uh, for all of my American friends. And happy or belated Happy Canada Day to all my Canadian friends. Um, that was, I think, on Friday the 1st. So happy uh, Canada Day to you guys as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. I've got my best press and I've got, that's why I was running late. I had to go get my washcloth for my iron in case it gets all gunky. And we're going to go ahead and start ironing these pieces up. If you're joining me, if you're joining me on this project, you can do exclamation point MM, that's for mix and match, MM pattern in chat. It'll give you a link to the free pattern at Donna Jordan and you can follow along. If you've got a charm charm pack, um, you can go ahead and follow along with the It looks like all the blocks are made with a charm pack and then there's some background fabric that kind of separates the blocks out. So that's gonna be really fun. <laughs> Brenda says, fireworks wear me out. Yes, Brenda, I agree. I am not a fan. I am not a fan of them myself, but I do understand the, uh, the appeal to them. Um, it was pretty quiet here yesterday, which is really weird for our neighborhood. So I'm expecting today and even tomorrow to be even worse. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But yeah, I, I'm with you. They, they wear me out too. My poor puppies, they just do not like them at all. They do not like them at all. And Chloe, I saw your note about the pattern. Yes, it's a fun pattern and it's free. It's on Donna Jordan's website, so you don't need to worry about working on it now. You can always work on it another time, but I completely understand not having time for another new project. I have way too many of them going myself. Um, we need to start, a, probably our next live stream will probably be a UFO live stream because I have too many of them that we need to work with here. We need to get some of them going. So yeah, so right now I'm just ironing up. I'm going to iron up probably four or five of them at a time, then go ahead and cut them up into the charm pack pieces, and then uh, we'll just keep moving forward. Usually the first day of a project is pretty slow because it's really just ironing and cutting up. 
I try not to do anything off camera unless it's something that I screwed up and have to take apart and put back together. <laughs> but otherwise I try not to, I try to do everything in here in front of you guys. So in case you guys are sewing along with us, you can follow the steps that we do. <laughs> Oh, so it is a beautiful Sunday Sunday morning here. It is, what is the temperature out here? I didn't even look. It's 81 degrees outside right now, and it's going to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit later today. Somebody said that they were thinking, they were thought they had heard something about rain, but I haven't seen anything. Um, my neighbors behind me are actually replacing, we have zero lot lines. So basically, we can put our fences up on the lot line so we shared the fences so the neighbor behind us is actually replacing our back fence back there we've we've helped him out with that financially but he's he's doing the work for us so he's putting that up so you might hear some power tools in the background if you do i apologize for that um i only had an hour left on my headset so <laughs> that was not going to be enough time um, and hopefully the batteries on my lights stay as long as they do because even I was having trouble with that this morning. So it's it's been a fun morning. <laughs> it's been a really fun morning. So either way, how are you guys doing? What are your plans for this fun weekend? I hope you're doing something fun. Brenda says, love the teal. Yes, the teal fabric. Yes, I hope you guys can see it. Oh boy, the color's a little off again. But yes, these fabric colors are just gorgeous. The, you guys know me. I love my bright colored fabrics. I mean, even my shirt is, I mean, it's probably, it looks terrible on camera, but it's super bright colored. I love bright colors. This fabric line is just gorgeous. It is so bright. And then I have, I bought a solid black background fabric for it. Um, so that these colors are just going to pop out. And then I bought the teal that you guys just saw. This one here, this teal here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this teal here, that's the background, that's the backing fabric. And then I brought, bought a pink, which we'll get, which you guys will see later on, a pink fabric for the border. So this is going to be a super bright and cheerful quilt. I have a, a friend in mind for it that I'm going to be gifting it to. Hopefully we'll get it done before their birthday. We'll have to wait and see. So we're, I'm really excited for this. So if you guys like this fabric, you guys are going to have to keep an eye on it. Because uh, remember, any extra pieces we have from these... I uh, make sure to I give I give those away at the end of the project, so keep an eye out for those. So I've got a handful of pieces here. We're gonna go ahead and cut these up real quick. I don't like to do too many at a time. So Sandra says she's making Donna Jordan's beads quilt right now. Yes, those are the beads blocks. Yes, those are beautiful. I love her patterns. They're just so much fun. And the thing I love about them is that if you get stuck and you can't figure out the directions, you just go on to her YouTube page and you watch her make them. And she is. 10 times better at showing guys people how to do this stuff than I am. So if, if at any point in time during this project you're confused about what I'm doing, go watch her video <laughs> because I'm sure it'll be easier to understand from her than it will from me. For sure. For sure. Brenda says, cleaning out closets, making a garment sewing room, and prepping for granddaughter. I'm, ex I'm excited. I would be too, Brenda. I would be too. Chloe says she's making food for a cookout. Oh, what kind of food are you making, Chloe? Maybe I'll come by. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, we're not doing any cookouts this week. Um, for our family, we I went out to dinner with my mom and my sister and my kids yesterday um, to, to kind of celebrate the holiday. And then we're going to all kind of hunker down and uh, stay at home. Okay, these pieces are... So nice. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing amazing on this holiday weekend. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice these up real quick. Super easy cutting instructions right now. We're like I said, I'm starting with a layer cake instead of a charm pack. If you are starting with a charm pack, then you're already ahead of the game. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut up these layer cakes real quick into five inch squares. Each layer cake, each layer cake piece, is that what you call it? It's going to give us four. Um, so I'm just going to cut them up real quick. Just slicing them over. 
Good morning, Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. I did not get a chance to set up a link for your channel in chat. I do apologize for that. I had meant to, and I didn't get the opportunity to do it, but I will. I promise I will. Um, for those of you who do not follow her, make, please make sure you go over to her channel and subscribe. Um, I will try and get a link into chat by the next stream. Brenda says, I'm making deviled eggs for tomorrow's family reunion. Ooh, deviled eggs. My favorites are so yummy. So yummy. And Chloe says, potato salad, tortellini salad, onion and cucumber and tomato SS. What's SS? But that sounds amazing. I am totally inviting myself over to your house tomorrow. <laughs> so nice is walking the dog so I can get home and finish fabric baskets. Ooh, that sounds like fun. So much fun. That sounds like so much fun. Okay, so apparently Streamlabs is telling you guys all kinds about different fabric lines that aren't true. So, sorry about that. I'm not sure what's happening there, but I'll have to turn that off later. So just ignore what Streamlabs is telling you. We're not doing the ballet fabric on this live. We're doing the whimsical fabric. So, sorry about the confusion there. Streamlabs likes to pretend it knows what it's doing. <laughs> All right, so like I said, I'm just doing a layer cake here, just cutting it up into little five inch squares, little charm packs. Everybody's getting ready for their cookouts today, which is exciting. I don't have any super big plans myself. Um, I do have a, um, Um, the corned beef. I have a corned beef uh, thawing in the sink right now. We'll see if we can make that for dinner tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Ah, so nice. His name is Catalina. Good morning, Catalina. Thank you for that. And Kathy says, thank you for the shout out. Of course, Kathy, of course. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to get that uh, link set up. I, I apologize for that. I will, I will try my darndest to get that set up for the next one, for sure. This week has just been a crazy week at my work, my full-time job. It has been an absolute crazy week because everybody's been on vacation, and I'm like the backup for everybody. So, unfortunately, I have not had a whole lot of spare time in the evenings, and that's why you guys got your vi the video you did get on Tuesday. I had planned on giving you two this week. But it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, so unfortunately, you only got one, and it was a super short one. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, and hopefully next week, next week will be a regular video on Thursday, I'm hoping. Because I think everybody will be back from vacation by then. And I can get back to my normal schedule. <laughs> Brenda says, yum, love corned beef. Yes, I, I like the corned beef part of it. I'm not a huge fan of the cabbage part. That's just my personal preference. But I do make corned beef quite often. My husband and I really enjoy it. We make it with tomato, with uh, carrots and um, potatoes. And I make it in the Instant Pot um, because it only takes like 90 minutes as opposed to like all day in a crock pot. <laughs> and it tastes just as wonderful. Um, so I usually make it in the Instant Pot. Craft similar. Good morning. Uh, she says, good morning from Ontario, Canada. Good morning and a happy belated Canada Day to you. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. We're just starting on a new project called Mix and Match. It's a free pattern by Donna Jordan. You can do exclamation point MM pattern in chat and it will give you a link to it. We're using the Whimsical Daisy fabric line, which is just, I mean, wait till you guys see these colors. I mean, they're just super bright and cheerful, and I absolutely love them. They're going to be so much fun to work with. Right now, we're taking our layer cake and cutting it up into charm squares, because that is what our pattern called for. So we're going to do that. Brenda says, ain't that the way? Same here. No one at work, and I'm run, my, running my my butt off. Yep, absolutely, Brenda. Yep, absolutely. Um, it seems like, you know, when I go on vacation, you know, no one covers for me. 
<laughs> but that's not really true. I do I do have a coworker who who I swear if it was not for her, I would I would lose my mind entirely. So she she's amazing. She's amazing. She helps me out a ton. But um yeah, it's it does seem like I, I cover for a whole lot more people than <laughs> cover for me for sure. For sure. Chloe says, I got the Liberty box too. I have to buy additional part fabric. Excited for that project. Yes, Chloe. I just got my additional fabric and I was going to do a live stream tomorrow on that project, but it's just, it's not going to work out. Unfortunately, um, I've got too much, too much technical stuff going on here to be able to do that, unfortunately. So we're going to do that project. Um, I don't know when we're going to do it just yet. But if, if it's something you want to work on together on the channel, we are going to do it on the channel. I'm just not sure how or when just yet. But as soon as I know, I will let you guys know. But we are going to do that one. I'm, I'm super excited to try that one. It's so cute. Such a cute pattern. Brenda says Monday through Fridays. Amen. <laughs> Monday through Friday. Yep, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm just using a little bit of best press to kind of stiffen things up, get them nice and straight and flat. The pieces were pretty flat the way that she that I this is a um, hand cut package of um, layer cakes from Matt Jordan of Donna Jordan Fabrics. This was a, a pre-cut layer cake from them. Um, and they're pretty pretty straight and uh, they were pretty decently flat. They've got a little bit of a bend in them here. So I just, I like to, to, um, starch up my fabrics just to get them a little stiffer. So I think they, I think they cut nicer and I think they work with me a little bit better than, and, and I found that they don't stretch as much either when you're working with them. Um, at least in my opinion. So I do try to, to go ahead and, uh, get those all ironed up. Chloe says, just let us know, love the house. Yes, absolutely, Chloe. Yeah, if you're interested in joining me on that one, that is a, a project for sure. And I, I think it's, I think I'm going to do it in July. And I think we're going to work on it on a couple of live streams, but I'm just not sure yet. Um, I'm thinking about taking some vacation time here just for myself at the end of the month. Um, we'll see how things pan out at, in the office. Um but if they do, then I think I'm going to take some time off during the week and I might do a couple, a live stream or two during the week and we'll work on that project then. Um, so, but I will let you know for sure what, just keep an eye on the Facebook page and I'll let you know for sure what the plan is for that. Yeah, for sure. Boy, okay. Brenda says, remind me, my Mr. Bottle died. Where did you get yours? Oh, the Misting Bottle? I bought mine on Amazon. I, I you know, they have them. Um, um, a couple of the fabric lines offer them, but I bought mine on Amazon. It was like three bucks. I mean, super inexpensive. That's where I got mine. So, yeah, check check Amazon. That's a great, great question there. Brenda says, I love these hand cuts. Yes, I know. They're so pretty. I'm, I'm so excited about these pictures. You guys are distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> with all the chats. I mean, it is, it is a beautiful fabric line. I am loving this fabric line. Absolutely. And uh, so nice. Asked, does, jo does Jordan ship fairly quickly? It's uh, Jordan Fabrics. And I think they do. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're not going to ship it to you, you know, the next day. It, it takes them, uh, well, I mean, especially with everything that's going on right now, it takes them probably about a week, about a week or less to get them. Um, I think that... See, I always order stuff that I need ahead of time, that I need it, so I, I give myself plenty of time just in case. But yeah, um, it, about a week, about five to five to seven business days is usually when they ship. Yeah, but I just, I love, I like the fact that they do these hand cuts, because then that way you don't have to do the cutting yourself. Especially if you find a fabric line that doesn't offer pre-cuts. Um, I really like the, like this fabric line is not offered in a pre-cut. It's just not. It's just the way the the manufacturer did it. So um, Matt Jordan of Jordan Fabrics actually makes their own pre-cut, which I think is really cool. And it makes it easier for us to do these projects in a pre-cut fashion. So really excited for that. 
but yeah, about the same amount of time as like a um, fat quarter shop or, um, you know, anything you would buy on Etsy probably ships a little bit faster, I think. Um, but yeah, it's super, super easy. About, about a week with that. Brenda says, awesome, right? I paid $15 at the quilt shop. You know what? If you can, if... If, I always like to support local as much as I can. That is my number one rule. I try and support my local quilt stores as much as I can. Unfortunately for me, I really don't have one that's super close to me. It's a, like a 45 minute drive to get to the nearest one for me. And, and don't get me wrong, I will absolutely make that trip if I don't know exactly what I'm looking for and I kind of want to just look around and get ideas and get inspiration. I will absolutely go out there. But if I know exactly what I need, and I can have it shipped to me with free shipping or inexpensively or with a coupon code. I'll utilize that. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say not to, obviously, and, and I, it's probably a bad thing, but I, I do try to support local as much as I can. Oh, Brenda started a heist. Oh, if you're new to the channel. As you're watching this channel, you are earning what we call thimbles. It's basically a points program. And one of the things that you can do to earn more points is you can risk some of the points that you've earned or thimbles that you've earned in a heist program. You do exclamation point heist space and then the amount of points you're, or thimbles you're willing to risk. And then the computer picks winners at random. So good luck to you. It looks like Brenda has started one of those. Super exciting. Be careful though, she can get pretty competitive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that Lucas is not here. Lucas is my moderator. He is working for the summer. He's a college student working for the summer to earn money for school. So, you know, that is absolutely more important than this YouTube channel for sure. So he's off doing that. But he is, you know, when he's here, you got to be careful because <laughs> he gets pretty competitive. <laughs> Brenda says no more quilt shop. I know, I know. The, one of the local quilt stores by Brenda is actually the same quilt store that we bought the yellow brick road pattern, uh, fabric and pattern from and the ballet fabric, the tower bridge pattern and fabric. We bought those from that same quilt store that Brenda's talking about and unfortunately they had to close. It was so sad. Such a cute store too. I really hope that she is able to, the owner of the store, I did talk with her for a little bit and I really hope that she is able to find the opportunity to open a new one in the area. I really hope so. Um, we'll have to wait and see. And Brenda says, who, me? <laughs> oh, as long as you guys have fun with it, that's all that matters to me. It's there for you guys to have a little bit of entertainment and a little bit of fun while you're sitting here watching me iron up stuff. Um, if you're not already following along yourself, it gives you something fun to do. And like I said, you can take those thimbles. So the thimbles, I, I never finished explaining. Uh, the thimbles is a points program. You earn these points and then you can, the once you get to a certain level of those points, you can actually trade those points in for prizes. Right now we only have one prize available. It's just a random fat quarter from my stash. I will have a bunch more prizes being set up here in the next couple of weeks because I've got a bunch of notions that have come in from um, some project boxes and stuff that I'm just not going to utilize. So I'm going to offer those up as prizes. So you guys will start to see more of those. You can do exclamation point prizes, that's plural, in chat to see what those prizes are and how much points you need to earn them. Like I said, right now there's only one. What did I miss? Kathleen says, oh no, Brenda, looking into small towns to move, first thing I look up are quilt shops nearby, most important. Amen. Amen. And, and when I moved, well, not when I moved, I used to have a local quilt store myself and it was, it was super close. It was in the downtown area of this, the town I live in. So it was really, really close. And unfortunately they also had to close their shop a couple of years ago, which was very sad. I, I always hate to see these small local stores close like that. Um, that's why I try to support local as much as I possibly can. And if I can't support my local store, I like to try and support other local stores in the, uh, or that I can. I know that I buy, I bought stuff from, um, Fort Worth, Fort Worth studio in Texas. I've bought stuff from Donna Jordan's. I've bought stuff from Fat Quarter Shop. 
Um, those are still local. I mean, they're, you know, bigger scale, but they are still local stores, so I do try to, to support them as much as I can. And last week I was telling you guys about the wholesale store that I found the thread at. I, I didn't, it's just been a terrible week. I did not get a chance to set up a link for that either, but you guys were able to find that one last week. Waywick, W-A-W-A-K, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, but that's where I found some really inexpensive thread um, it, from a wholesale store as opposed to a retail store. It was really inexpensive. They have Aurifil, they have the Guterman, which is what I use. Um, they had a bunch of other ones there too. So if, if you're interested, make sure you check them out as well. They are a wholesale store. They are not a local cold store. But they do have a lot of other um, supplies as well for sewing and things like that. So if you are interested, make sure you check them out. Wow, Brenda, look how many points you've got. Oh, Chloe. Chloe and Sandra, congratulations. Look like you guys won that time. Good congrats. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning. You're what? Just finished watching the British Grand Prix. Oh, is is that the 24-hour one? Forgive me. I used to be really big into automotive racing, and it's just not something I, I follow that much anymore. But is that is that the 24-hour one, or is that just uh, is that just a normal one? I just lost a thousand. Oh, Brenda, you'll earn them back very quickly, I'm sure. <laughs> and as you're participating in chat, you're getting an extra two thimbles for every message you send in chat. So, you know, you'll, you'll earn them back very quickly, I'm certain. <laughs> I am not worried about that. <laughs> Although I do think I need to bring those, those values down for those prices so you guys can actually turn them in. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be easier for you guys to earn the points than it, it seems to be. So I want to make sure I'm making it challenging but fair at the same time. So I might have to bring those down a little bit. Chloe says, love Fort Worth. I do. I really like them. Yeah, I bought a couple of things from them. Not not a lot, but a couple. Um, one of these days, maybe I'll actually be able to get out there and visit them. Visit them for real life. So, yeah, is another one. I've never bought anything from there yet, but it's definitely a place I'd like to check out and see how they work out. <laughs> Brenda says, message. Does that mean you sent me a message, Brenda? Congrats, Sandra. Yes, Sandra, congrats. Sandra's trying, Danny's trying, Sandra says Danny's trying to make us chat more. I mean, it does help the channel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. I, you guys, if you wanted to just sit here and watch me, you're more than welcome to do that. There is nothing wrong with that. It's just a way of, my, it's just my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel and being so awesome. Such an amazing community of people. It's, it's just so much fun. So, guys, I mean, I'm telling you, look at these fabrics. Aren't they just gorgeous? I mean... The camera's terrible with colors, but it's just, they're just beautiful. So this is the pink I was telling you guys about. This is the border fabric we're going to be using. Just absolutely so, such beautiful colors. Such beautiful colors. <laughs> and Brenda says, so fun, no earning points. <laughs> well, the points is just a bonus, right? We're just here to have a good time chatting along, so that's fine. You guys are having so much fun. So much fun. So what are you guys working on? I'd love to hear. Um, Chloe, how did those uh, pillowcases turn out? Chloe posted a picture on our Facebook group, which, by the way, if you're not joining us on Facebook and you'd like to, you can do exclamation point FB for Facebook in chat, um, and it'll give you a link to join there. Chloe posted some pictures, I think it was last week, on some sunrise forgive me, were they pillows, pillows that you were working on? They were beautiful. I loved the layer of colors that you had chosen. It was just absolutely gorgeous. You are so much more talented than I am for certain. Um, they were beautiful. How did they turn out? Did, 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 were you able to finish those? Did you gift them off? How did those go? Brenda posted some pictures, forgive me, I'm not sure if it was last week or the week before, of the bucket hats that you had finished up and that beautiful purple tape, a beautiful 
purple uh, quilt that your husband had made that was just gorgeous because, you know, I'm partial to purple. That is one of my favorite colors. Brenda says, be right back. Going to order Mr. Bottle before I forget again. No problem, Brenda. No problem. No problem at all. But I'd love to hear what you guys are working on. Love to hear that. Unfortunately, this week I did not get a chance to work on any of my off-camera projects. Um, like I said, it, it was just a crazy, crazy week in, in my office this week. So I was working really late all week. And then, you know, by the time you get home and you make dinner for your family and you try and relax, it's like the last thing you want to do is... <laughs> I mean, I, I love sewing with passion, but it was the last thing I wanted to do was sit in front of a computer. <laughs> so nice. says, don't go to Amazon. You'll never come back. <laughs> true. Amen. That is very true. Maybe she should just open another window, you know, just, just like do a dual window on the computer. <laughs> Vicky's congratulating Kathy on winning. Yes, congratulations. So much fun. <laughs> not wrong. Totally not wrong. Too funny. Too funny. <laughs> in, in fact, the, you say you, I laughed because I did that last night. I was on, uh, I went on Amazon to, to, buy something real quickly then I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna need that and so I went online and I'm like hey I wonder if they've got this <laughs> so then by the time all was said and done it was like $130 on Amazon you know it's like oh my gosh <laughs> someone stop me <laughs> what is wrong with me oh yeah no I, I totally understand that that's funny too funny too funny Chloe says, yes, pillows, still quilting. We'll post one done. It was a busy work week. Oh, no, I don't want mean to rush you, Chloe. Not at all. I was just interested to know how you were doing with that. I, I am super excited to see what they look like because the start of them looked absolutely beautiful. So you were super talented, super, super talented. And like I said, if you're not part of our Facebook group and want to see those pictures, make sure you do exclamation point FB in chat to get a link to that so you can check, check, check them out. She's... Super talented. Her and Brenda both are, are, are amazing and they post beautiful pictures. I love seeing them. We, uh, we post pictures of the projects we're working on. I like to post pictures of these fabric colors because for some reason the camera just does not show them as well as I would like them to. Um, so I'd like to post pictures of them over there so you guys can see what they actually look like. Slowly venturing into quilts, mainly sew bags, baskets, pillowcases, pillows, stuff like that. Scared of quilts. <laughs> oh, I can understand that. Yeah. Um, the name of the channel. So not an expert. That's totally me. I am not an expert at any of this stuff. Um, the reason that I got into quilting is because I like the idea of sewing. The sewing part of it is what's the most important part of this whole um, hobby to me. The the cutting, the pinning, I did, I've done some um, fabric, or not fabric, um, apparel, and my sewing machine, things like that. I, I made some apparel, some Halloween costumes, stuff like that before. It just wasn't, I didn't enjoy it as much. Um, I've made some stuffed animals before. I have a couple of patterns up there of some things that eventually I will get to again. Um, I just, I liked them, but I didn't enjoy them as much. Um, I have found, I started doing a piecing project with pre-cuts. I bought some, um, two and a half inch strips some a couple of jelly rolls and made a single, it was a lap quilt for a friend of mine. Um, and I made that and I, and I thought, well, I can try this. I can try to do this. So I did that and I, I pieced it together and I have found that the piecing part of it is my favorite part about quilting, at least right now. I don't have a long arm, so I can't do a lot of the long arm stuff. I have just a regular standard machine and I keep pointing under here because it's under this table here. Excuse me. Um, so I don't do a lot of free motion quilting or things like that. I'm just not, I'm not there yet. 
my machine can't really handle that. It can really only do straight stitching for the most part. Um, eventually I'll get there, but I love the piecing. I love being able to cut it up into little pieces and put them back together and make these beautiful patterns and designs. I have found that that is my favorite part about this hobby, about about quilting specifically. Um, so I do still send all of my full-size quilts out to a long arm, um, a local long arm in my area. I have heard you all the beautiful quilting because she is 10 times better at it than I am. Um, and she really makes the piecing that I do really stand out. So I, I let her, I keep, let leave that up to the professionals, at least for right now. Eventually I'd like to get to a point where I can learn how to do that stuff. Um, and who knows, maybe one day I will own a long arm myself. Um, you never know. You don't know what the future holds. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I, I enjoy it. And if it's something that you want to try, I, I recommend you try it. Buy, you know, like I said, just buy a, buy a charm pack, buy a layer cake, buy a jelly roll, one of the three, and just find a simple pattern to try it out with. And you don't have to make the full pattern. Um, you know, when I started, I, I bought a, two jelly rolls and I made a, a pattern called um, something in the garden. It's on fat, um, fat Quarter Shop. But basically you just take the two strips and you sew them together on both sides and then you cut them on the diagonal and then you put them back together and it makes this really cool, really cool shape. Um, so that's all I did is I just bought those two pieces and I put them together and then, okay, these are not square. Uh, that's why I'm having trouble getting them to go together. They're not square. But so I did that. I bought that and I put it together and that just kind of, and I didn't even make a full size quilt. I, I, it was literally a lap quilt. It was only like three rows, I think is all I put together. Just to see that I could, just to show myself that I could do it. And on that one, I did the whole thing. I, I sewed the, the top, I sandwiched it up together. I stitched in the ditch the whole nine yards. I, I did put it all together. Um, put the binding on it just to prove to myself that I could do it. Um, it you know, it wasn't the greatest. <laughs> none of my seams matched up. None of my corners matched up. But I got it done. I did the entire thing from start to finish. Like I said, it turned out to be just big enough of a lap quilt that I was able to get it to one of my neighbors who was wheelchair bound. It was perfect size for her. Um, but it was just it was just something that I, I just wanted to see if I could do it. You know, I just wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. And I, and I did. And after that, I caught the bug. I was like, I need to make another one of these and another one of these and another one of these. <laughs> and before I knew it, I was knee deep into fabric projects and, and I have way too many of them now. <laughs> I need to work through them. So that's actually one of the reasons why I started the YouTube channel was not just to share my love of the project with you guys, but to also keep me motivated to keep doing these projects to get them done. Um, so and it, and it seems to be working out really well. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. Looks like I missed a couple chats here. Uh, so nice says I've made several dog leashes with my scraps last week. Turned out really well. Ooh. That's a neat idea. I never thought to do that. I am terrible with scraps. I am just horrible with them. I have grand plans of things I'm going to do with them, and then they end up sitting in a bucket, and I never do anything with them. So one of the wonderful things about this channel, it, is, it has given me the opportunity to give away my fabrics, so you or my scraps. So um, a lot of times we'll do giveaways on the channel of fabric scraps. Today I don't have anything to give away. Um, but I did give some stuff away last week, and I'm thinking I might have stuff for the next live to give away. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but basically, as soon as I finish a project, I'm giving away the scraps for it. Because it just makes it... Uh, I, I like the idea of giving it to someone who can actually use it instead of them just sitting here in a bin and not being used. Because I, the reality of it is, as much as I would love to be able to use them, I just don't have that kind of time or talent. Hi, Quilt cool Projects. Good morning, Dawn. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Oh, Brenda's back. Hi, Brenda. Good morning. Welcome back. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> We're so glad you didn't get lost in the Amazon shuffle. <laughs> I am just cutting up my layer cake squares into five and a half inch squares because that's what we need is we need charm packs for this pattern 
The pattern we're doing today is called Mix and Match. If you do exclamation point MM pattern in chat, it's a free pattern from Donna Jordan Fabrics. Donna Jordan of Jordan Fabrics. Whew, I will get it. Um, we're using the Whimsical Daisy Fabric Line. Um, this fabric line does not offer a layer cake. Um, the Jordan Fabrics actually created one for us. It's one of those things they like to do. So I was able to purchase it from them. The fabric line is still available, but you would have to make your own layer cakes if you're looking to use this this specific fabric line. Um, I did put some um, pattern stuff in chat for you. Chloe, oh, you have no idea how much that means to me. That is so kind of you to say. Chloe says your channel keeps me motivated too. Oh God, that that Chloe, that right there is why I do this. I keep myself motivated. I know that's a little bit of a little selfish, but to know that I'm also helping you is, it's truly an honor. It's truly an honor. So thank you for saying that. I really, 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 really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, John. Yes, there's the pattern. Uh, you can do is also do exclamation point MM fabric in chat to get the link to the fabric. Um, the only place I could find it was on fabric.com. I'm not a huge fan of that particular website. They do a great job of offering the fabrics that you can't find anymore until they're literally, you can't find them anymore. Um, but I, I try not to buy from them too much because I, I don't know enough about the company to know if it's a local company or what have you. And I prefer to support local as much as I can. So I don't like going there, but I do go there as a last resort if there's something very specific I'm looking for that I just can't find anywhere else. But if you, but that was the only place I could find that had the most of the fabric line listed in one place, but I strongly recommend you figure out what pieces you want and then go on like Etsy or someplace like that and really support those people locally if you can. Oh, Brenda started another heist. You can do exclamation point heist in chat to join. Remember, you're, you're earning those thimbles as long as you're watching the, the video here. You don't even have to be participating in chat to be earning the thimbles. Although, you do earn a couple of extra ones every time you do participate in chat. But you can, you can still play the game. All you have to do is do exclamation point heist in chat with a space and then the number of points you're willing to risk. If you're feeling uber, uber, uber lucky, you can do exclamation point space all and risk all of your points. But be careful because you can lose them all too. So just be careful with that. Somebody says I only do YouTube. I feel like I missed something. Let me do YouTube. Oh, my quilt says, I agree with what Chloe said. All the networking with the quilters via YouTube, great community. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, okay. And then, so yes, says, I don't do YouTube. Okay, I got you now. I got you now. Yes, absolutely. I have taken a couple of classes at my local quilt store. Like I've mentioned before, it's not super local for me. It's like, it's a good half an hour to 45 minute drive from me. So it's not super local, but it's, it's worth the drive. And I've taken some classes there and... Most of the classes they offer are during the day, during the week. So when I am lucky enough to catch a weekend class that I can attend, I know they don't mean to and it's not their intention, but I often feel a little out of place. I often feel like I'm not quite, I'm definitely not in with the in crowd. Now the, the, the uh, team there, the, the employees there do a great job of trying to make you feel welcome and trying to make you feel included. But, you know, the, the people that, that attend those classes are, are, you can tell that those are people that are in a lot of these classes a lot of the time. So they kind of, they know each other, they know how to chat. And I'm, I know it may not seem like it, but I'm actually kind of shy when it comes around people I don't know. At least it takes me a little bit to warm up to people I don't know um, in person. <laughs> like, I could talk to you guys forever, but for some reason, when I'm in front of people, it takes me a little bit to warm up. So I have a really hard time with, networking and the community within with a actual quote an actual quilt store with lessons and things like that i i have a much easier time making friends and networking via youtube and, and i do twitch as well um 
it's rare that you find anybody both in there. But, um, but yeah, I, I completely understand what you're saying. Oh, Kelly, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm sorry I missed you. Um, thank you so much for coming, stopping by. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. I think I said good morning to you. If I didn't, good morning again. Good morning. <laughs> Tracy, I did not, I don't, mm, I don't think I set up a link for your channel yet either. I meant to, but I don't think I got around to it, and I apologize for that. I will try and do better this week. Um, this past week was a really busy week at work, so I was unfortunately not able to spend as much time with my administrative stuff on my channel as I wanted to. Catalina says, still walking and chatting. People probably think I'm playing the, the Pikachu game. <laughs> the Pikachu game. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, too funny. Too funny. But, you know, at least you're not talking out loud. So, you know, at least you, people don't think you're talking to yourself. Or, I mean, I guess nowadays it's really not a thing about talking to yourself. It's more talking on the phone. But still. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here joining us. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I'm over here lining these up. And... Yes. Oh my gosh. When did my iron go quiet? All right. So, so this pattern calls for five inch charms. So we're making our five inch charms. It calls for 120 of them. I bought a 40 piece layer cake. So I took 10 pieces out. As if you do the math. We took 10 pieces out, that gives us 30 left, 30 times 4 is 120. So right now we're um, just ironing these up, getting them nice and flat, and then cutting them up into the charm pieces so then we can actually start piecing stuff together. I don't know how much actual sewing we're going to get done today. We're going to try and do a little bit. Um, we'll see. But you know, it's that's kind of how it always goes with the start of a brand new project, is you always... Um, here. Oh, Sandra and Brenda, congratulations on winning the latest heist. Congratulations. But you know how it is starting a new project. You always, you got a lot of ironing and cutting up to do first before you can really get into the, into the fun stuff, you know. We got a really pretty pink thread we're going to be using on this project. I thought the pink thread would look really nice. I, you know, the piecing thread colors, some people just use white all the time or black. I get that. I understand that. I like to use the colors just because I have so much colored thread right now. Um, I have a bunch of family members that have given me a bunch of different threads and things, so I, I'm trying to use them up um, as much as I can. I know eventually I will get to a point where I'm just using black and white threads, um, but for right now I'm using all the colored pieces. Brenda says, finally, woo, woo, lost the last four. Oh, sorry about that. Some, no worries. I actually have surgery in just over a week, so I won't be uploading for a bit still. Oh no! I hope I hope that your surgery goes well. Oh gosh. I hope it's a minor surgery, and I hope it goes wonderfully, and I hope everything goes the way it's supposed to. We will all be thinking of you. Yes, absolutely, Brenda. Prayers, Tracy, for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, Brenda, I missed it. I was up all night sewing for four-star general. Uh-oh, here we go. I'm going to scroll. We'll see what happens. Four-star general blocks with tea quilts. Loving those little pieces. Oh, gosh. How, how small are those pieces, Brenda? Mm, Dawn, do the other one. Do uh, my quilt projects. Try that. Good morning, by the way, Dawn. Good morning. Vicki, I've noticed a lot of sites are not ironing fabric first. Vicki, yes, I've noticed that as well. Um, they usually don't, or at least I, I haven't come across any that do. Um, most of the time they will, sometimes they'll iron them before they cut them, um, but for the most part they don't. Now, these pieces were fairly flat. I mean, I, I can show you the next one I pull up. They were fairly flat. They really weren't, the way they had folded them wasn't, wasn't bad at all. Like this one here, I can show you. See, it's got like a little, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's got a little bitty bump in the middle, but that's about it. Um, they were folded when they were packaged. So, you know, you just kind of got to iron them up a little bit. Not a, not a big deal. And I like to best press mine. It's just a personal preference. You don't have to do that. Um, that's just a personal thing that I, I prefer to do. There you go. I'm glad that one works. 
Oh, no spaces, hon. My cool projects, no spaces. All right, with no spaces. Sorry. I make it difficult, I guess, don't I? I'm sorry. I'll, I can change it. I'll change it to Dawn um, if, I, if I get a chance. Oh, one and a half by two and a half. Ooh, one and a half inch pieces. Those are so tiny. Oh, I, I struggle with the little two and a half. I did a, um Irish chain a few years ago for a family member. And I read the pattern wrong. <laughs> it was supposed to be two and a half inch. It was supposed to be four patches of the two and a half inch box. And then you were supposed to use the five inch charm square to go along with it. Well, I didn't read the directions and I cut up all of my fabric into the two and a half inch pieces. So I, <laughs> so I ended up having to sew all of these little two and a half inch. There you go. That one should work. Uh, I had to sew up all the two and a half inch pieces up together. Oh, it took forever. <laughs> all these little bitty pieces. Oh, geez, it was terrible. So I, I feel you. I understand what you're going through. I have a really hard time with those little bitty pieces. There you go, Don. I'm glad you got it. I'll try and fix it so that uh, it's it's a little bit easier. Four Star General. Mm. Thank you, Brenda. But yes, uh, Vicki, I have noticed. Vicki says, I iron first, don't like bumps. No, I'm with you, Vicki. I don't like the bumps and I don't like the creases if I can avoid them. Um, I just think that everything sews up a little bit nicer together if it's and that's why I use a little bit of the best press is because I've also found that that and then it doesn't stretch. It kind of keeps it together a little bit better for me. Um, it's just a personal preference. But that's what I, I have found that I enjoy that better. I have found that. Craft a simple life says, Don, I subscribed. I should have, I would have sworn that I subscribed to you before. Well, if you didn't, I'm glad that you did now. Yeah. Don shared a link to her channel. If you don't follow hers, I recommend going over there. She's amazing. She does beautiful work. She's so much better at it than I am. And if you have your own YouTube channel and you'd like me to add a link to that one for your channel, just let me know. Um, I There's a couple of them that I was supposed to add that I unfortunately didn't get a chance to. But if you want to just put a note in the chat that just says, Danny, I have a channel. Can you, can you uh, link it? Then I will go back through the chat after the stream is done and I will pull those out and grab the links and uh, get those set up for you. Unfortunately, my moderator has got a second job for the summer. Um, he works Sunday mornings. He's a lifeguard at our local pool. So he, he unfortunately can't help me today. That's okay. That's fine. You know, his earning money for college is more important right now. So we're going to, once he's back, he'll be able to help me with that kind of stuff. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you, Sandra, for the reminder. If you do exclamation point like in chat, it will also do that for you. A couple of people are subscribing to Dawn's channel. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. Well, looks like we're done ironing, so now we just got to cut these up, and then we might be able to start some sewing. Okay. It's my favorite part. Let me grab a couple of these. Brennan is telling him we miss him. We, I will absolutely 100%. I, he had, was able to pop on. I don't know if you guys saw it last week, but he was able to pop on the chat like right, right as I was ending the stream. He popped on just to say hello. Um, yeah, I, I do miss him terribly, but school is the most important thing, and him earning money for school is absolutely the most important thing. So. He, he has apologized to me all summer long, and I keep telling him to stop apologizing that my YouTube channel is not nearly as important as his education. So he's super sweet. Um, for those of you who don't know, he is my daughter's boyfriend. They've been together for 
two or three years now. I'm not sure. But super sweet. He's, he's basically become an adopted member of the family at this point. And uh, he's super, um, super supportive of my channel. I don't understand why this is being so weird all of a sudden, but sure, yeah. Um, yes, Kathy, I will definitely, I think yours is on my list, but I will definitely link yours up as soon as I can. I apologize that it's not already linked. Yours and, um, my cool projects. That was, I think, the other one. Yeah. Brenda says, what to, uh, exclamation point top, T-O-P. That's how you find out the, the, the thimble leaders. Yep. Yeah. Yes, Kathy, I will get a link for yours. I'm sorry that I don't already have one. Oop, there we go. But yeah, he's the uh, he's the boyfriend of my daughter. They're super cute. They have shown up on the channel once or twice before. Super sweet. He's like my number one fan, which is just so great. So great. I think he actually watches more of my videos than my kids do. <laughs> which is just funny and sad at the same time, but that's okay. I forgive them. <laughs> hey, look at that. I've got points. Joyce has got some points. Probably. There, there you go, Brenda. There you go. An hour break time. Nice. By party, I mean sewing. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of these days, when it's nice outside, I will bring this machine outside and we will sit on the patio and then my neighbors will probably think I've completely lost my mind, but I do not care. <laughs> we will have fun out on the back patio one of these days. I thought about doing it this weekend, but like I said, they're putting in a new fence in my backyard and so there's a lot of power tools and stuff going on back there. And since I know that's happening, it's probably not a good idea. So. Brenda says, wow, Chloe's ahead. Well, yeah, Brenda, because you lost the, lost the last four, so. <laughs> you are clearly winning the race. <laughs> oh, you guys are so much fun. So much fun. Well, you know, just keep playing those heist games and you guys will all win. You know? A lot of fun. Just be careful. You know, don't earn, don't lose too many. <laughs> Like I said, you guys are earning points just for watching. You don't even have to be participating in chat to earn the points. Um, for every chat, you earn a couple of extra uh, thimbles just to, I keep calling them points. They're thimbles. They're thimbles. <laughs> uh, you're earning a couple of extra thimbles. So eventually when you get to a point where you have enough thimbles to start turning them in for prizes. Right now I only have the one prize. Um, but eventually we will have more on the channel that you can turn them in for. I also do giveaways on the channel. I'm not doing a giveaway today. I don't have anything to give away today. Sorry. Uh, I don't do giveaways every on every live stream, only on some of them. But I do give away all of the excess fabrics that we have from the projects that we work on. So once we've finished a project, I give away the fabrics from that project, usually on the last stream of that project or the stream following it. So keep an eye on that. Well, we just got the um, Yellow Brick Road quilt back from the long arm. So once I get the binding on that one, which I have the fabric here for the binding, but once I get the binding on that one, then that one will be up for a giveaway. Maybe, maybe next week. We'll see. But I keep all of my scraps that are over an inch long. And we, uh, we give them away. Brenda says playing is fun enough. Well, I'm glad that you enjoy it, Brenda. I'm really glad. That is the whole point of it. There we go. All right, almost done here. We've got two more to go, and then we can pull the machine out. Now, I know for a fact the machine does not have any thread in it, so I will need to thread up the machine. And I do have a bobbin that we can go through. I don't think I have an extra one, so we'll need to wind up another one for the next stream. At least that way we can do a little bit. My stream's going to run a little long today because we did start a little late. Normally the first weekend in each 
the first weekend of each month, we do a virtual breakfast with our kids. Unfortunately, some of our kids are traveling this week, so we opted to skip this month so that they could enjoy their travels. We, the last thing we want to do is stress them out during their travels. So we did not have a breakfast this morning, but I started the stream late anyway. So we'll go till 1 today instead of 12.30 like we normally do. Good morning, Shirley. I chat. I caught your last video, your, your your live stream. That was so much fun. I'm so glad you were able to get that to work. That looks really exciting. Good morning to you. I will make sure to get a link to your channel in my chat here at some point. <laughs> I will try and make a note. And, oh, and uh, happy belated Canada Day to you because you said you're in Alberta, Canada. So happy belated Canada, Canada Day to you on July 1st. Oh boy, Brenda, Brenda's going in. She's got 500 in there. Wow. Okay, good luck to you guys. <laughs> good luck. He's like done. Or Craft a Simple Life's in there too. Good luck. Good luck to you both. Thank you so much for joining me. And of course, there's always the really big giveaways that I'm still planning to do when we get to 100 subscribers. We are currently at 84 subscribers right now. So if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, or if you know someone that you think would enjoy the channel, please make sure to share it with them. Once we get to 100 subscribers, I will be doing a pretty big giveaway. I've got some fat quarters. I've got some notions. I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm putting together. It's going to be a pretty big one. So that I'm really excited to to give that one away as soon as we get there. Oh, that's right, we were done. All right, so now we've got our charm squares, which are basically just five inch squares. So if you're working with yardage, you can get that. I started with a layer cake, so I did have to um, get all of that set up to go. So let me, I gotta kinda do a little shuffling here for a second, guys. You guys know I keep my machine. This is a sewing cabinet. My machine is under here. So I gotta pull it out. So give me just a minute. It's gonna, it might get loud for a second. I do apologize for that. It's on a hydraulic lift. And it's a little loud because it's old. I don't know the exact year of this cabinet. Um, every time we have it away from the wall, I keep meaning to look at the stickers on the back of it because there are stickers on the back. I keep meaning to look at them to see if I can figure out what the exact year is. Um, but I keep forgetting. But we are going to be doing some reshuffling, some reorganizing in this. This is my daughter's bedroom, for those of you who don't know. We're going to be doing some reorganizing in this room um, here shortly. She's. We're going to be switching out some furniture and moving some stuff around. Um, one, to give her and, and I both some more floor space, but then also to kind of just make things flow a little bit better, if you will. So... That's why I haven't scheduled next week's live stream yet, because I'm not sure what the room's going to look like. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have the space to do it or not, so we might have to uh, put it off for a week. I don't know, but keep an eye on the channel. I will absolutely post something in the channel and in Facebook as soon as I know um, to let you guys know if we're going to be doing something next week. If we don't do it next week, we'll definitely do it the week after. Brenda says, who wouldn't enjoy this channel? Great company and fun. Oh, Brenda, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. So kind. So kind. Brenda says, beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> Good luck to all our players of the heist. If you want to join in, now's the time. Do it quickly. Got to get in there quick. I have a little one of these. I don't know what I did with it, though. I forgot to pull it out. Let me see if it's in here. Maybe I got lucky and was smart and put it in here. Oh, no, I was not that smart. I was not that smart. I have a the thread holder that goes up here and this one's too big so I gotta find another little one because the thread on this that I'm gonna be using is pretty tiny. I think I know where it is. See this is what happens when you're not prepared for the channel. Sorry guys. 
<laughs> Sorry, give me just a second here as everything comes falling down, crashing down for sure. Oh, that's the big one. Isn't it? Watch, everything's gonna start crashing down. Yep, there it is. I try and keep them with my thread so that I don't lose them. But I can never remember which container I put it in. Don't fall. <laughs> it's a balancing act. I'm sure you guys are aware. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like a, just don't let anything else fall, okay? <laughs> All, right. All right. I think I got it now. I think we're good. I'm going to keep this one in there. <sighs> Oh my gosh, Craft is Simple Life. Thank you so much. She says she shared, she shared you on a Discord channel. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Yes, Kathy, that is very sweet of Tracy. That is very, very sweet of her. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Like I said, I will definitely get links to links to you guys set up in my channel for sure. I apologize for not having them set up already. Today, this week has just been, it's been a, a difficult week for work-wise, so. All right. And I should have had this set up already, guys. I'm sorry. I, I should have had this set up already. It's good thing you guys are so forgiving. <laughs> Quilting in the country. Good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing and for joining me. Good morning. Yes, she did. She just she was just telling us that she shared my channel on one of her Discord and one of her, the Discord she follows. So, thank you for that and thank you for stopping by. We are working on for those of you just joining, we are working on a mix and match pattern by Donna Jordan. So if you do exclamation point M M pattern in chat, you'll get a link to that. It's a free pattern by Donna Jordan. I love her patterns. Oh, okay, quilting in the country is Lori. Okay, good morning, Lori. I'll try and remember that name. I'm terrible at remembering names, so I do apologize. I try to remember them as best I can. We have an amazing group over here, so thank you and welcome. We have just cut up our layer cake into charm pack, and now we are going getting ready to sew up the charm pack. And I was just uh, filling up the machine with the correct thread. The directions say to take two different colored charm squares and stitch them together. So I'm just going to do this kind of randomly here because you guys know me. I like to be kind of scrappy about my stuff. So I'm just going to kind of break these up into some piles here so that I can kind of grab from the middle of each of them. Everybody saying good morning to Lori. Yes, thank you guys. You guys are all so awesome. So, so we're just going to take one of these and one of these. And it says to do two. So we're going to do this one. And it looks like we're going to make one block first. And then we're going to go ahead and start just, you know, making them all together. So let's see what we got going on here. Let's try to figure this out, shall we? I try not to stress too much about my pattern my fabric so I just try to grab randomly so I've got an orange and pink and a blue and a green and we'll do here we'll do this one this one there okay so it says to sew both sides. Okay. So we'll do that. Using my quarter inch presser foot, I have one of those guided ones. So it's got like the little lip on the side that hangs onto the fabric for me. Because um, otherwise I am terrible with quarter inch seams. I just I kind of cheat. <laughs> I cheat a little bit. So. Welcome to all our newcomers. Thank you so much for joining us. We're all sitting here chatting about our projects that we're working on. 
We're working on the mix and match quilt over here. Uh, last week we worked on a tower bridge. Super easy. That one was super, super easy. And we're all earning some thimbles. It's basically a points program where you can earn some points and then trade those in for some prizes. I think there was a heist game going on. I don't know if I saw a winner on that. Did that? Did the winner pop up for that one yet? So good morning and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I'm not sure why it didn't pop up there. It should have. Sometimes Streamlabs decides it doesn't want to work with me. Who knows? Our goal is to get to 100 subscribers. We're, this says 84, but I think we're at 85 if you've subscribed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when we get to 100, then we are going to do a big giveaway. I do giveaways on my channel. Not every single channel, every single time, but try to do some. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's like all of a sudden I have this frog in my throat. All right. So now it's going to say, it says that we need to cut each pair in half as shown and trim half an inch off one edge as shown below. Okay, so my cutting mat is here underneath, so let me grab that. <laughs> Dawn says, yay, Brenda and I won. Congratulations on winning. Congratulations. We have like a little points program um, called Thimbles, where you earn points on the channel and then eventually you can take those points and trade them in for prizes. Right now we only have one prize going. Um, it is um, a random fat quarter from my stash. But um, eventually, uh, very very shortly, I will have more on the channel. Um, I just have unfortunately not gotten a chance to get there. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, so it says to cut them in half, so that's two, because these are five inch squares, so that's two and a half. So I'm just going to kind of slice these up as two and a half. Yeah, I knew that didn't work. Okay, what the heck? Come on. There we go. All right, so there's two and a half, and then it says to cut a half an inch off the top. So let me go ahead and grab that. So we'll do a four and a half. Brenda says, yes, five minutes. Yep, got to wait five minutes and then you can start another heist. Yep, yep, there's five minute cool down. That's to kind of just give everybody a little bit of breather, you know. <laughs> you know, let everybody that lost lick their wounds <laughs> before we start again. Yep, five minutes. There's also the slots game too, although people have, don't seem to have had much luck with that one. And if you do exclamation point slots in chat, and then do um, same thing, exclamation point slots, space, and then the number of points that you're willing to risk, um, you can just get a random slot machine thing, but you can also earn extra points that way as well. They're counting down. They have a timer going on when they can start again. <laughs> you guys are so much fun. So much fun. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So yeah, we're working on a mix and match quilt right now from a uh, free pattern from Donna Jordan. We're using the Whimsical Daisy um, fabric line. The It was a layer cake offered by Jordan Fabrics, a hand cut layer cake. So that's what I'm using. But you can also get the pieces yourself at, um, I mean, anywhere really, but I was able to find the whole line at fabric.com. So at least you can check out the pieces there and then maybe find them either at your local quilt store or uh, an Etsy sale, something like that. Or, I mean, you can obviously buy them from fabric.com as well. I, I will if it's the, as a last resort, but I prefer to support local as much as I can. All right, so that's the directions for that. <laughs> she, says she licks her wounds a lot. She says, I lose my symbols. That way, like my, they are like my marbles. <laughs> Amen, right? Amen. See, that's why I don't play, because I know I would lose every time. Although, <laughs> I did play the giveaway the one time just to make sure that it was working, and I'm like, watch, I'll be the one that wins. 
I, although I think I did win one of the heists one time and that was that was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Okay, um, it does not say Oh, it does say open the black and press the seam allowances towards the darker print. Lay one of each of the resulting patchwork units right sides together, light on dark and dark on light. Oh, oops. Okay. Seam allowances will nest. Cut each pair along one diagonal in opposite directions as shown below. Okay. So first things first, there was, there was a lot of instructions there. So first things first, let's press them towards the dark. We're just making one block right now just to kind of see what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to chain piece these all together um, and we're going to make them all at one time. So, but the, you know, I always like to make the first one by itself just to kind of figure out what I'm doing, you know, and then I, I kind of chain piece everything up together. So I got to wait for the iron warm up. So let me catch up on chat here. Let's see. Uh, Vicki, I've got those ends of double wedding ring quilt to get done. And I lost my mojo. Mm, Vicki, I understand you. I, I completely understand where you're coming from there. Yeah, sometimes that happens, but that's okay. You're allowed. Just, you know, take a deep breath. Go watch some videos. Hang out and chat with us. And uh, I'm sure it will come back. I'm sure it will. Sandra says, you're getting closer to done. You can do it. Absolutely. Yeah, give her some words of encouragement for sure. Absolutely. Don says losing is fun too. That's fun. <laughs> Lori says, I'm not sure what it's like to win. Oh, Lori, stick around. You will win eventually. The, the odds on the uh, Thimble's game is, are, are pretty good. You're, they're pretty good. I set them pretty high, so you will win eventually. Just keep playing. If you're curious to know how many Thimbles you have so far, you can do exclamation point Thimbles in chat. It'll tell you how many you've earned. I think you earn, I want to say... I could be wrong, but I think it was like 10 thimbles every five minutes, and then you get an extra two thimbles for every message in chat. I think that's what it's set up like, but I could be wrong. But I know you get a bonus when you um, subscribe to the channel, so if you did subscribe, then you probably got a bonus of 100 or 250 of them. I'm not sure why Streamlabs didn't say anything about it. It's weird. Usually it does. Just waiting for my iron to warm up. There it is. All right, let me go ahead and press these up real quick. Just like last time when we were using the best press, I do have um, a wet washcloth sitting over here. Um, that's what I use to clean my iron when I use the best press and it starts to get a little flaky and gunky. I will use that. It's just a plain wet washcloth and I just literally just iron it. I take the iron and I iron right over top of the wet washcloth. Be careful it gets super hot <laughs> because of the iron but that seems to clean the iron just fine for me. Um, I know there's some other products out there that you can use to clean your iron and if they work for you fantastic. I've honestly never used one. I've never felt the need to. Um, the wet washcloth usually works just fine for me. In fact uh, it actually looks pretty clean right now, so I don't think I need to use it. Otherwise, I was gonna. I mean, I can show you guys how it works. All right, so I've got these pieces pressed up and said to press them towards the dark. So we'll take the rest of the directions in a second. But here's my wet washcloth. Just gonna lay that right on my wool mat, and I just take my iron and I literally just iron it. And now you guys will probably see a little bit of steam coming up. That's because it's a wet washcloth. And it kind of sticks a little bit, and that's okay. That's kind of what I want. I just want to kind of push it back and forth like this. I get the sides. Like that. And there you go. All clean. Now, be careful. This washcloth is extremely hot <laughs> because it's wet water. So I just let it sit there for a minute and cool off before I pull it back off. But that's all I do. Vicky, forgive me. What are arc pieces? Are those for the are those for the um the double wedding ring quilt? Is that what those are for? Craft says, "What is the command for hitting like Danny?" Oh, it's exclamation point like. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. that. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you do exclamation point like. You can also do exclamation point info, and it'll give you a list of all of the commands that I have available. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, you do exclamation point like. Mm -hmm. Vicky says yes. Oh, okay, so she's talking about the double wedding ring. Okay. Cool. Feels like this one's a little cool now, so I'm going to go ahead and hang this one back up over here where I had it before. Just let it sit there. Okay, so the instructions say to take these pieces, put them on top of each other, nest up the seams. So flip them over like this, nest them up like this. Nest up the seams like that. Uh, da, 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 da. Seam allowances and less. Cut each pair along one diagonal in opposite directions. Okay, so I've got them laid out together. And I'm hoping you guys can see this on camera. I got them laid out together so they're the same. I got the green on the top. Okay. And then I'm going to cut from corner to corner in opposite directions. So I'm going to cut down this way on this one and cut down this way on that one. So let me pull my oh, geez, mat back out. I should probably grab my other mat, but that's all right. So I'm going to do this one first, and I go corner to corner like this. Line them up as best I can, and I'm going to hold that down and slice. Oops. It helps if you actually follow the... So I'm, I'm on my wool mat, and it's kind of moving on me, so give me a minute. one instead. This one is a little bit firmer and doesn't move quite so much. Yeah, this one doesn't have as much give. I have my wool mat on here and so the this one it's kind of it, it didn't it didn't work very well. Okay so I'm gonna actually flip this and cut it this way. And then it should have cut. Nope. I did that wrong, guys. All right. Well, there's, there's a good news that we have extras because I just, just screwed that up. I cut that the wrong way. That's okay, though. I'll just sew up two more and I'll cut them the opposite directions. All right. That's fine. This is what happens when you don't pay enough attention. But these are didn't cut all the way through, so I don't want to lose them. So see, not an expert. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are just not working with me today. Okay. So since these didn't work, let's try it again. And the good news is I have more pieces, so I can always cut up another couple of layer cakes. Let's grab four more and try this again. And this time we'll try and actually follow the directions. Vicky says I put a, a block on Kathy's Facebook. Oh, I think. LOL. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm not sure if I'm following Kathy on fa Facebook, but I will see if I can find her channel. Let's grab a green and a pink. Okay, let's try this again. So the first time didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I flipped it over thinking that that would cut it the correct way and it didn't. So, you know, lessons learned. There were mistakes made. It's okay. I'm not going to get too upset about it. I have extra pieces. Um, I have those extra 10 layer cakes so I can always cut those up and, and fix it. So we're going to grab four more. We're going to put right sides together. We're going to sew them on both sides and then we're going to cut them again. We're going to see if that works. Speaking of Facebook, if you haven't joined our group already, you can absolutely do that. If you do exclamation point FB in chat, it'll give you a link to our Facebook group. We've been posting pictures of stuff over there. It's a lot of fun. 
I love seeing what you guys are working on. It keeps me motivated to move forward with what I'm doing. It keeps me inspired and moving forward. Really appreciate it. All right. Vicky says, I've been looking for the Indian doll crochet pattern in here. In here somewhere. I'd love to see what that looks like. <clears throat> Kathy says, Danny, decisions, decisions. Yeah, amen. <laughs> uh, for, uh, Streamlabs is giving you guys the, the tower bridge pattern. I'm not sure why. I must have it on an auto loop or something. So just ignore that. We're not doing that one today. <coughs> Thank you, ladies, for putting that link in there. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to try this again. So first I got to cut it in the two, so cut it down the middle, so two and a half inch. We're going to try this again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, so there's... There's those. Try it one more time. Now the great thing about this pattern is it is a free pattern from Donna Jordan Fabrics. So if it really comes down to it and I can't get this figured out, I will. I can always go over to her website, um, which I, I think I even have a link for her website in the chat. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we can go over to her website and we can watch her video and it will tell us exactly how we need to do this. I think I know what I did wrong. I just have to, you know, read the directions correctly and follow them. <laughs> it's, it can be so hard sometimes. So hard sometimes. Okay, so there's these two. I have to cut a half an inch off of each one. So let me do that real quick. I think the cutting mat threw me off and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And it, I just messed it up. It's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. That is why they make extra fabric. <laughs> and if it really came down to it, I have some spare fat quarters that I always keep um, up there just in case I need a little bit of extra. What time is it? 12.30? Okay. Normally I end my streams at 12.30, but since we started at 11 today, I'll probably end it at about 1.00. I'll go up half an hour later than normal. So we usually do about two hour streams. Try and keep them within the two hour limit because after that I kind of lose interest. So I imagine you guys do too. <laughs> and so Sandra is no, excuse me. So Sandra is now lurking. But she will be missed. <laughs> Vicky says Jelly Roll Club is a nice site on YouTube. Ooh, I'll have to check that one out. <laughs> They're having fun with some of the, some of the commands. That's cute. Sandra says, I had to see what it was. Nope, I understand. I understand. That's why I put it out there, so you guys can have a little bit of fun with it. So let me uh, press these up towards the dark fabric first. That was the first instruction. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I need a little something to drink. I think I got a tickle in my throat. Cotton cuts. Yep, that's a cotton cuts link. You guys are having fun with all my links. That's all right. Have fun. They're, they're there for you. They're there for you guys' reference. I will get more of them set up for you guys, for all of our new experts that have come into the chat today. I will try and get all those set up for you. So 
Well, I have more. The direction said to press it towards the dark, and sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenge. Because, you know, the fabrics are all pretty colorful and bright, so it's hard to figure out which one's dark. I just pick one sometimes. So. All right, and then it says to lay them out. Nesting seams. All right, we're going to try this again. This time we're going to do it the right way, I hope. I hope we're going to do it the correct way this time. Nest the seams. And cut them corner to corner opposites. So this one here on this right side goes from the, the right side top down to the bottom left. So now that I've got it laid out, I'm going to just turn my mat here. Just trying to make sure that this isn't going to move on me when I'm slicing. Okay, there's that one. And then this one wants you to cut it the other direction. So messed up the seams. We're not sewing anything together. Just the same sewing anything together. And then we're going to go the opposite way, which is this way. And again, I'm just going to kind of turn the mat a little bit so that I can line it up correctly. Pull it apart. Cool thing is, I'm already in love with cotton cuts. I'm glad because it's a big supporter in this channel. Well, they're not a supporter of the channel. I support them <laughs> on this channel for sure. Hi, Marie. Good morning. Marie, did you get your uh, um, scrap fabrics? I had meant to email you with the tracking number and I didn't. And I apologize for that. I realized that after it said it had already been delivered. So I just want to make sure you got it. So if you could just let me know real quick. Okay, so now it says to take these pieces and flip them out like this and sew them back together. Like, oh, I see. Okay, so now we're just going to take the pieces that have already been cut and we're just going to sew them. So I, I probably didn't want to pull this apart because now it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to put it back together. Okay. All right. I think, I think I'm getting it now, guys. I think so. Let's, let's see if this works. And you know my love for triangles. If you've watched the channel, you know how much I love these triangles. I do have leaders if I need them. Welcome back, Kelly. Thank you for coming back. We, we tried the first block and that didn't work so well, so now we're trying another one. So it told me to take the two pieces and sew them up together, cut them on the diagonal, and now we're sewing them up again. I'm wondering if you could do like a stitch and flip method um, for these to make it a little bit easier on yourself to sew them up together. So then that way you're not trying to sew up triangles. look like in just a minute. Looks like somebody's trying to start a heist. <laughs> Chatting to get our two thumbs <laughs> Crack me up. So funny. So funny. So much fun. I'm so glad you guys have so much fun with that. I've watched other channels where the, it's just it's just not a thing. So glad you guys had a good, have a good time with it. Marie says, I'm not sure I didn't check the mail yesterday, but I will definitely let you know. Okay, great. Thank you. I thought it said it delivered on Friday, but you know, with the post office, you just never know things. So. Okay, so now I'm going to pull these open. Let's see. Okay, so they all got sewn up together. All right, so open the patchwork units and press the seam allowances to one side, pressing the seam allowances for all four blocks in the same direction. Oh, okay, good. 
trim off the dog ears, trim each black to four inches, making sure to trim off the edges that do not have seam allowances as shown below. Ah, gotcha, okay, okay. All right, so the next thing we have to do is press these open. And it says to press them all at the same direction. So we want to be careful because they are on the bias now because they're on the corners. So we're just going to kind of peel them open gently. Make sure they're all going the same direction. I'm loving these fabrics, guys. I don't know if you guys can see them on the camera or not, but they are super bright and cheerful, and I absolutely love them. And I'm sorry for the colors on my camera. I don't know what's wrong with them. I give up. I give up trying to figure out what's wrong with the, the camera. I'm going to end up having to get a new camera, I think. Just not quite there yet. I've been looking... Okay, so there's two. Let's see if we can get the other ones. It says to make sure they're all going the same direction, so. Just make sure that there's a... Hmm. <laughs> the colors match the top of morning. Yes, they do. I love bright colors. They are my favorite. Um, if, you, if you've watched the channel before, which I don't know if you have or not, but if you watch the channel before, I usually wear a lot of bright colors. And it's hard to tell, I know, because it looks awful in the picture, but the, my walls here are a bright green, a, a bright lime green. One of my favorite colors. My daughter and I share this room together. Okay, so this doesn't, doesn't need to go the other way. Okay. Um, my daughter, this is my daughter's bedroom. She's 19. She's a college student, um, sophomore in college this year. She's home for the summer. So her and I are sharing the space. She and I are of kindred spirits and we enjoy the same colors. We both like the, the really bright colors. My other daughter, I have twin daughters. Um, they're, that are 19. My other daughter prefers the pastel colors, the pinks, the grays, the, the the pastel colors. She prefers those. There's nothing wrong with those. She, I think her favorite color is peach. Pastel peach. She really likes that one. Or a light pink, like a pastel pink. She really likes like a blush pink, I guess. She really likes that. I think I pressed these up. They're going the wrong direction, so I'm just pressing them up again because I, I think I can see what's going to happen here. And I'm trying to trying to put it together. I'm not sure guys I'm trying to figure this out <laughs> I'm thinking that our seams aren't going to match up but that's okay I think I need to go up this way we're going to press it up and if our seams don't nest that's okay because we're going to figure this out first block's always the hardest right that's why I always do one block first and so that I can kind of figure out what the heck I'm doing here and then and then once I get that one block done, everything else kind of goes a little bit smoother. Okay. There we go. All right, so now it says to trim these up to four inch pieces. So let's do that. And it 
says to trim it up on the edges that don't have a seam allowance. Which is weird because this one has a seam allowance. Cut the dog ears off, it says. Let me cut the dog ears first. Okay, cut the dog ears off. I saw something pop in there. Give me a second. There we go. All right. So the dog ears are cut off. Crafts. Yes. Always work. One, always one blocks to start. Work the kinks out. Exactly. Yeah. I like to do one just to kind of see how it goes together, and then as I'm putting it together, I'm figuring out what can I do a little different to make it easier on my life. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do to make my life a little bit easier? Okay, so it says to trim off the dog ears. Okay, trim each block to four, making sure to trim off the edges that do not have seam allowances as shown. Okay, well, all right, let's figure it out. So it needs to be four inch block, which I mean, that looks pretty close. Let's see. It's pretty close. It looks like my sewing is a little off, but weird, right? Oh, that one, four inches. Line that up there and that up there. Normally I do all my trimming up here. Um, but I can't do that and use the machine at the same time, so I gotta do it this way. And that bulk in the middle makes it a little bit tricky to measure with your measure with your um, ruler, because you know your ruler kind of wants to do this weird toggle thing. But it should be okay. Let's uh, cut off the dog ears here. And those of you who have watched my channel know that I do not stress too much about things being perfect because to me um, they never will be because I will just keep trimming it until there's nothing left. <laughs> so I don't stress too much about things being perfect. Um, I usually go with good enough. <laughs> it's usually, usually my method. <laughs> um, that's usually where I'm at. <laughs> Some people want everything to line up exactly perfect, and I am not that talented to be able to do that. Um, I'm, I'm still a, a baby when it comes to this craft. I'm still a newbie when it comes to it, so I don't expect it to be perfect. As long as I can fit it all together, that's all that matters to me. Like the, the first block we did, we I, I kind of messed that up a little bit, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because I just, I've got extras, so I will cut up more pieces for myself and I'll make those up later. So sorry for kind of ignoring Chad here for just a minute. I'm just kind of trying to figure these out, you know. Once I get the first one figured out, it becomes a little bit easier to do. All right, so there's four by four. Let me just... Patty, good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing and for joining us. It's really great to see you. Thank you so much for stopping in and, and joining us. Thank you everyone for welcoming her while I was focused on my fabrics. I appreciate that. We're working on a free pattern by Donna Jordan called Mix and Match. Um, I love her, her patterns. They're super easy to do normally. <laughs> this one is... A, the, the first ones are always a bit of a challenge, you know, you gotta, you gotta think it through a little bit. So we, we kind of messed up on our first pieces, so that, that's our oops pile over here. <laughs> Just off camera is our oops pile. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll figure it out, we'll get it figured out. And for some reason, 
I, th I think this blade is dull or I'm having just issues with this cutting mat because I've had now three times to try to, there we go, cut through that piece. There we go. But thank you so much for joining, Patty. We really appreciate it. Good morning. Welcome. So glad you're here. Just trying to line these up here. There we go. Just check them all the way around. It should be four inches. Looks like we got a little bit on this side. Like I said, I do not stress about it being perfect. I am not that talented to be you make sure everything is perfect so I'd go with it's good enough <laughs> it's good enough Sandra says daddy it's the cutting mat I have the same problem with mine just like that yeah I think it's because there's the soft edge on the back so it keeps like pushing when I'm pushing down but yeah I agree with you I think since we're just doing this first one here, when we go to do the bulk of them, we'll sew everything up together and then we'll do all the cutting on this table. And so I, I think it'll work out a little bit better. But I, I agree with you, Sandra. I think that it's just the mat is, is what I'm struggling with. It's a great mat to have, especially when, in a situation like this where you're doing one block and you need to press it and cut it at the same time. This is an awesome mat to bring with you if you're going on a retreat or if you're going to a class. It's amazing. It works fantastic and you don't have to get up every five minutes to go over and use whatever they have. I usually bring my own little mini iron with me in this and it works out really well. But yeah, I agree with you. And, and that's why I pulled this one out because I was using this one on top of my wool pressing mat before and that was it was doing the same thing. So... I, I agree, Sandra. I think that's exactly what it is, but hopefully we'll get through it here. <laughs> We're just doing this first one to see what it looks like. And like I said, I do have extra fabric, so after the stream I can cut up a few more pieces for our, our oops pile. <laughs> so let me just pop in here real quick. Kelly says, I did her step letter pattern a couple years ago, but I tweaked it. To be bigger for a taller friend. Oh, cool. I'd love to see that, Kelly. Um, my quote says, I earn thimbles as points as you watch and you can gain pattern. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And Vicky says, even those ladies that say they're perfect or not, lol. Absolutely. Amen. And, and you know, most of it gets hidden in the salvage anyway. Or in the seams anyway, right? Sandra says that Matt is great for muffling your sewing machine on lives. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I mean, is my machine really loud? I didn't think about that. I bet I could try that. Thank you. Thank you, Don, for taking care of all that for me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you both. Thank you all for that. Okay, so we've got the seam allowances all set up ready to go. The directions say, oh, that, that doesn't help me, yeah. Okay, stitch the four blocks together matching the intersection. The seams do not, the seam allowances do nest. Well, that's only if you press them together correctly. We'll see. Um, steam press very flat. The block should measure, measure seven and a half. Okay, so the block looks like, let's see. We've got one little one there and one little one there so they're opposites okay and then we got one little one here okay and then we've got one little one there oh that's cute oh god i love these fabrics i love these fabrics they're so cute and of course my my seams are not going to nest because i didn't do this right but that's okay it's okay not gonna worry about it okay so these two pieces Messed up here. Let's see if I did this right, guys. We'll see. We'll see. Patty says, what you making? <laughs> Batty, we're making a mix and match quilt. Um, it's a free Donna Jordan pattern. I think that somebody, yeah, somebody put the, 
hit craft a simple life put the pattern in chat for me thank you so much you guys are awesome so awesome so much thank you um yeah we're making the mix and match free pattern by donna jordan i'm using the whimsical daisy fabric line um there's an exclamation point mm fabric in chat if you wanted to do that Yep, 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 yep. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> Marie says maybe I'm seeing things. There's no felon up here. <laughs> I mean, I, I I didn't see it either, Marie. That's why I'm like, I don't see it, but maybe maybe I missed it. Because I the chat moves so fast, guys. Sometimes I miss some stuff, and I'm sorry for that. I try not to miss anything. But Okay, so this one is not going to mess up because I didn't do it right. But that's okay. Again, I'm not going to stress. I am going to put it together and then I'll worry about it later. Yes, yeah, so this one is Mix and Match by Donna Jordan. I love the colors. The colors look like so much fun. Why is this not resting up here? Weird. Um, the colors look like so much fun, so I wanted to try it out. I've got some black... This is weird. This one doesn't match up at all. Um, I've got some black background fabric that we're going to put in here. Sorry guys, something's not right here. It's like not matching up at all. What did I do wrong? Way off. Hmm. Super off. I don't know what I did there, but are these both four? Yeah, they're both four. Hmm. Weird. I messed something up. I don't know what, but something. So I'm going to match these up here. That was there. See if we can make it work. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. First one's always the hardest. Once you figure it out, it makes it a little bit easier. Yes, there's a lot of bulk at the center point. Yes, there is. Absolutely. And she said that in her directions say that um, the seams will nest, which this one, it does, kind of. But it looks like I'm I'm off. My um my sides are off, so I'm not sure what happened there. It looks like one of these pieces is bigger than it's supposed to be. I don't know how. Because they're both four inches, so I don't I don't know. I did something, who knows. But I got it to match up now, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And then I wanna press this one down and that one up. These match up together. Of course, my iron has turned off again. Figures. <laughs> Sorry, let me catch up on chat here, guys. Uh, da, da, da. Marie says, oh, well, you never know. You could have been lurking. Yep, true. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sandra, Danny, who will know what's wrong? Exact. See? Exactly. See? That is exactly how I think about most things. Where's Waldo's? There you go. That's fun. Where's Waldo's? Sandra, thank you for reminding. Yeah, if you haven't already, yeah, please, please give a like. Thank you. Marie says, I say getting it done is more important than perfection. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. The cool thing usually hides little imperfections anyway. Absolutely. 100%. And Kelly says, although I don't stress about perfection, I did manage to, ma I did manage to beautiful scene nesting almost all the time in my recent four patch quilt. I am getting better at my nesting seams. I'm getting really proud of myself, especially with all the cotton cut stuff. I'm getting more and more proud of myself and more confident with those pieces and be, being able to get things to nest up really nicely. So I, I, I it is like a, a huge pat on the back when you're able to get things to go the way you need them to. Yes. Oh, looks like somebody's trying to start a heist. Marie says, I hear you, Kelly. The more you do, the better it grits. Absolutely. Yep. 
Michael Frederick says, seam nesting is such a lovely fantasy. <laughs> Sometimes it works out really well. Other times it's like, what did I do here? Um, you just kind of make it work, right? <laughs> you just kind of make it work. That is the the essence of my quilting skills is I'll make it work. It's fine. <laughs> if you guys watched the video of me or uh, the live stream, if you were with us when we put together our last, uh, the Olympia quilt, um, there was there was some struggles. There was a little bit of struggles in there, and we just kind of went, we'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, I agree with you guys with 100% there. All right, so I'm going to nest my middle seam here, and then I've got some other seams here that are just not going to nest. I, I think part of it is the cutting of it, too, on this mat. It just didn't cut very straight, so that's part of it also. Look at me trying to make excuses. <laughs> I'm trying to make excuses um, for what it's supposed to look like. So I'm going to make sure the middle one nests up really nicely, um, and then I'm not going to stress about it too much otherwise. And then we're going to do the rest of these pieces um, in bulk. So we're going to do them all of them. We're going to do them all at one time, and we're going to cut them on the hard pressing mat. And I'm thinking a stitch and flip might actually work better. Um, I might try one off camera just to see if it works a little bit better for us, if it doesn't give us quite so much... Quite so much of a hard time. Marie says the quarter and seam is definitely what comes. Mm -hmm. Kelly says I do pin sometimes. My stiletto comes in handy too. Oh, stiletto. What's a stiletto? I've never, I can't say that I've ever heard of that. <laughs> Kelly says it's never a mistake. It's a design change. Absolutely. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'm going to have to remember that. Yeah, absolutely. What is a stiletto? Oh, see, I told you guys, one of my lights was gonna die. Mm, I knew it. That's okay though, we're just about finished here. Too funny. All right guys, well, it looks like we've gotten our very first block done. So, which is great to see. And it actually turned out better than I expected it to. It, do, it doesn't look as bad, as hard, difficult. It was super colorful. And again, the light went out. So now you guys really can't see it very well. I will post pictures of it on Facebook so you can see. But I love the colors. The colors are so pretty and so bright and vibrant. All right. So that's, that's going to be it for this week, I think, guys. We got all of our pieces cut up and ready to go. So we'll have those all, we'll get all those all chained up, chain piece together next week. And then we'll get them all cut up. I'm thinking the stitch and flip method might be easier to do because, you know, you slice them in half and then you cut both sides. So if I just if I just sew both sides and then cut, that might make things match up a little bit nicer. We'll have to wait and see. But our first block is done. It's not perfect for sure. You can see there's a big gap over here. It is what it is. That's okay, though. I do love the colors. The colors are going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm excited to see how that goes. I will cut more pieces to replace these two off camera. You guys don't need to see me do that. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be doing a little bit of reorganizing of this room. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a live stream next week or not. I just don't know. It depends on how much we get done this week. If we're able to get it all done and reset by Sunday, then I will post a, a note in our Facebook group and I will post something on this YouTube channel to let you guys know that there will be a stream next week. Otherwise, we might have to skip next week and go to the week after. Right now, we're working on two projects at the same time. We're working on Tower Bridge and we're working on this mix and match. Um, the Tower Bridge one, we worked on that one last week. We started that one super easy half square triangle project. The worst part of that is going to be squaring up those triangles. That's going to take us a whole stream, I'm sure. Um, we got those all sewn up, so we're going to start um, slicing those on the next stream, whenever that is. So we're flipping back and forth between these two projects right now. So the next stream will be Tower Bridge, and then after that we'll come back to this one. Um, so that way we're kind of looking at something different every week and we don't get too stir crazy. I also have the Yellow Brick Road project that I need to finish up, so I'll finish up that one probably off camera. I'll probably just show you guys what that one looks like. It just needs binding fabric. That's all that's left to do. And then we'll be able to do a giveaway for the spare fabrics on that one. So maybe by next week, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. I want to thank each and every single one of you for coming in today. If those of you who weren't able to stay, you're amazing. This group is so much fun. I have so much fun every Sunday with you guys. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. I just, I can't even thank you guys enough. You have amazing, there's a bunch of links. My chat is blowing up. I'm sorry, I'm not catching up with it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope you have an amazing holiday and I hope it's a safe one. Um, so please, you know, be careful with that. Have an amazing time with your family reunions and your cookouts. And I can't wait to see you guys again really soon. Hopefully, hopefully next week. Um, but keep an eye on the channel. I'll let you know for sure. New video will be out on Thursday. I'm not sure if it will be clue five of our So Sweet or if it will be the reveal for our Cotton Cut Spring mini mystery. I'm not sure which video I will be posting yet. I, I haven't started editing either one of them yet. So um, it'll be as much a surprise for you guys as it is for me. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to take off. You guys have an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys all again really, really soon. Thank you so, so much, um, and I will see you soon. Bye.